Hey everyone, it's Andrew Bermudez, co-founder and CEO at Digsy and former commercial real estate broker from Lee & Associates. was there for 13 years and I wish somebody had shown me these things when I was a broker. Uh, but today we're going to show you how to use Google uh, to generate commercial real estate leads. It's actually pretty simple. I'm very surprised people don't do it, uh, but here you go. Start doing it before everybody else does. Uh, but we want to talk about how, why Google, why would we use it? And actually, there's a study between LoopNet and Google. And you can click right here uh, if you've got the slides to see that report. But 80% of the people who search for commercial real estate start on the internet. So using a uh, search engine like Google. So that's usually like the biggest uh, pipe really just like where people go. So you want to get in front of that audience. And, uh, yeah, I mean, if you look at all the keywords for commercial real estate, uh, there's hundreds of thousands of Google searches for any variation of commercial real estate. That is commercial real estate for sale, for lease, commercial property, office, office building, office building, you know, Irvine, California or Tampa, Florida. And this is each month. There's a hundred thousand, hundreds of thousands of different variations every month. So there's just a really fat pipeline of leads coming in there. And what we're going to do to really tap into uh, Google and generate uh, leads is we're going to use Digsy's personal IDX. So when you're a Digsy Pro member, you get a personal IDX page and you use it and you can use it along with Google uh, and buy Google ads against it and generate plenty of leads. So this is basically what it does. So if you look at your, uh, if you use your personal IDX uh, to show your listings, or you can show all of the listings in your market that Digsy has. And then when somebody's searching on Google for, for example, commercial real estate for lease, Irvine, California, Tampa, Florida, et cetera, you can even do it in a geographic region. Uh, you can drive traffic to your personal IDX page and get people uh, to start looking at all the listings and you can capture their contact information, call them up and generate new business. So you can leverage the largest search engine on earth to generate just hundreds of leads each month. It's really just a fantastic hack uh, to generate business and commercial real estate. So to give you an example, what the personal IDX does, um, it allows you to show all of your listings that you have on Digsy. It also allows you to show all the listings in your market. So you can narrow it down to just yours or you can narrow it down to just everything. So that way you get whoever hits that page can see everything on the market and you're able to capture the lead. So this is what your personal IDX page looks like. For example, here I've selected all listings and it's showing all the listings in this region of California. So right there. So a viewer can come and they can click on this. And as soon as they try to view more information, you can capture their contact information and call them up. Uh, the other thing that it does that's um, very valuable is when somebody enters information, they try to download, let's say, a brochure, they try to unlock pricing or more pictures, etc. They'll probably put, um, some people, not everybody, will put in some junk phone number or email address. However, what the Digsy Personal IDX page does is in the background, it's actually verifying that the number is an active phone number. And it's doing that with the telecom companies. Uh, and then also the user must verify their email address and that way when you get notified that you have a lead you know that people have actually gone through those steps so they're serious and motivated leads uh, so that's something to note uh, that way you don't have a bunch of junk and waste time calling these not so cool individuals <laughs> to put it that way so this is basically what your ad looks like right let's say you buy an ad on google and you have your idx link so uh what i what we advise individuals is to make sure that when you put an ad that you narrow it down to the square footage that you actually work you don't want people let's say if you focus on ten thousand to fifty thousand you don't want uh, 2,000 or 1,500 square foot users clicking on there and then, you know, going, you capturing all these small leads. So I'll give you an example here. So when people search for commercial real estate for Lease Irvine, this ad of mine pops up and then I can click on here and then I'm routed to the page as you can see, right? So what happens is as somebody uh, views these listings, let's say for example, they want to click on this one right here and they want to either take a 3D tour or they want to view more information. Uh, for example, here it shows your information as the contact uh, for the tenant representative. Also, the uh, agent's given credit down here. Uh, they can also contact the agent. But the neat thing is whenever somebody 
uh, clicks or tries to get a tour or download the brochure or unlock the pricing, so for example, right here, um, it's going to verify the phone number, etc., and you're going to get notified ASAP so you can jump on that opportunity and call that individual. So there we go on that. Let me just go back to my presentation. So that is your ad right there. So basically, once you capture a lead, this is what happens. You get notified via email, and it'll tell you, hey, Frank Gonzalez unlock pricing for the listing below. And you can click this link to see which listing uh, they're inquiring about, and you get their contact information too. So that way you can just tap. If you're on a, on a smartphone, you can just tap their cell phone number or tap their email address to quickly uh, uh, contact them. So I'm going to show you instructions, and then I'm actually going to show you live instructions because some of us are visual. So first thing we're going to do, I'm going to run down these really quick, is you want to go create a Google Ads account. That's ads.google.com, and then you want to hit the Start Now button. So once you've created that, you want to go ahead and create a new campaign. And when it asks you what type of campaign do you want, you want to select Leads. And then after that, it's going to ask you what type of campaign type do you want? It's going to say search, display, shopping, video, blah, 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 blah. Don't worry about that. Just select search. That's all you have to do. And then when it asks you uh, what goal you want to meet, go ahead and select website visits. And when you get that, go ahead and Digsy will give you your personal IDX link. And then you put your personal IDX link here where it says your business website. So you can fill it in there. Uh, you can name your campaign. Uh, make sure that when you select networks that you select that you check search network by you uncheck uh, display network. You don't want that. You want to keep it simple when you're first getting acclimated with Google Ads. And then it's going to ask you to select locations. You can select United States. You can target people who will show interest in targeted locations uh, and your excluded locations, etc. So you can actually, um, let's say, for example, you're in Portland. Uh, you don't want to target all of Ohio. So you can actually narrow it down to just people who are in or showing interest in Portland. So that's very important. You don't want to be creating these ads. And let's say you're in Tampa, Florida, you don't want to be advertising to people in Oklahoma. So that's very important. So make sure that you select your options here. Um, enter the budget. Usually, you know, if you're starting out, you want to give it a daily uh, budget of anywhere between $20 to $30. $20 at the beginning may get exhausted pretty quickly, not giving you a lot of lift and experience of getting these leads. So I usually recommend if you can afford it, do $30 a day. You can always go in and pause it. So then when it asks you what type of bidding do you want, you want conversions. A conversion is literally somebody who hits your page and actually takes action. So they fill in their information, etc. And I would start off with a target cost per action. That is target cost per conversion of a dollar. So that way, if you're spending, let's say, uh, $30 a day, you're saying, hey, I really want to generate 30 leads a day. Um, so you can do that. And then when it asks you about ad extensions, just ignore this, leave it blank. And then what you want to do, here's the critical thing. If you're a broker, you have no idea about these keywords or what people search for. We're in commercial real estate. We're a search engine for commercial real estate. We rank really high on Google. So we are going to give you our secret sauce of keywords. So you can actually go ahead and grab the keywords that you can download here on a list. We've put them together for you. So digsy.co uh, slash CRE keywords. I'll show you what that looks like. So as you can see here, we hear the keywords for commercial real estate. So commercial real estate, commercial property, commercial building, commercial space. If you're an office broker or an office landlord, here are all the combinations. Uh, a negative keyword, make sure to copy this, is so that you're not advertising to people looking for office space, the movie. So you want to make sure that negative keywords means that your ad will not show up when people are searching for these combinations of of keywords here. So if you've got that, we also have them from indust for industrial. Uh, so you want to go ahead and copy all of these and you want to paste them in that page for the keywords. You have retail, medical, multifamily. So go ahead and download this keyword list. It's going to make your life a lot easier. So you go ahead and just paste them here. And the next thing it's going to ask you is to create ad copy. So you can just grab this presentation and, uh, and move forward with this. So you're 
IDX link is going to be over here. So let's say I'm in office space and I don't do transactions with anybody below 2,000 square feet. So I want to put in the headline 2,000 to 25,000 square feet of office space for sale and lease. So you can see headline here, headline two, and the display path, I put office space for lease. You can say, you know, industrial warehouse space. You can say whatever combination. So if you're doing multifamily, you can do the same thing. If you're doing multifamily, you may want to do dollar amounts instead of square footage. And here's the description. So go ahead and just basically you can just copy what's on this slide deck and go ahead and uh, just copy that. And then you can tweak it as you go. I would recommend just creating one ad copy, maybe two to test things out, but go ahead and the blank fields that you see on this, leave them blank. You do not need to worry about, um, you know, getting too technical on this stuff. And then once you do, once you make an ad, you can go ahead and just review all of the information here. Like you're spending $30 a day, you've got a bid strategy of a dollar per uh, acquisition, you hit publish and that's it. You're off to the races. Once you get a lead, uh, you're going to be notified via email that you, you know, Frank Gonzalez has unlocked pricing, downloaded uh, uh, a brochure, etc., whatever action they took. So there are some best practices um, that you can do. So at the beginning, you want to keep it simple, but then you want to start trying out two different ads. So maybe just the copy, meaning what the ad says. Uh, you may feel that the copy that we had, where it says 2,000 to 25,000 square feet of office space for sale and lease is not attractive enough. You can test out another ad. And then once you compare the results, you know, you, I would recommend you check the results every day and then the ads that are really performing, double down on those the ads that aren't working, kill them. Just take them off. Don't waste money on ads that aren't performing. So you want to go ahead and continue to play around with copy, you know, things like that. You can always also tweak your IDX link uh, to route the searcher to the right page. And this means, for example, if I'm in the city of Irvine, California, and I'm targeting keywords where it says office space for lease, and I've included the, the word Irvine for the city, I want to make sure that when somebody hits that page that they're routed to results in Irvine. So you can always tweak that. So anyway, I would just start slow there's uh, there's not much for you to worry about. But what I would do is if you're interested in getting your own personal IDX link, please contact us at 866-MY-DIGSY. So that's M-Y-D-I-G-S-Y or sales at getdigsy.com. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how this is done in real time. So we're going to go and hop on my computer here. And here's my personal IDX link. So I'm going to go to ads.google.com. I'm going to sign in since I've already created an account. And I'm going to click on new campaign like we mentioned. And I'm going to do new campaign here. And it's going to ask me what type of campaign. I'm going to click on leads. And it's going to ask me what type of campaign I want. I'm going to select search, like I mentioned. And I want website visits. And it's going to ask me for my website link. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab my personal IDX link. And I am going to target. See, I have no listings. I can say all listings here. And I want to show buildings between 10,000 to 50,000 square feet. So I'm going to go ahead and modify the link by clicking search. Now it's showing all of these. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to put this as my website. I'm going to go and continue. So I'm going to start a new, a new campaign here. Sometimes it remembers and I'm going to name it. I'm just going to leave the name how it is. I'll just call it demo or I'll just call it IDX uh, demo. I'll just call it that. And it's going to ask me search network, display network. I'm going to just only do search. And then it's going to ask me locations. I'm going to click on United States. It's going to ask me for location options. I'm going to make sure that I have this one selected and this one selected as well. And language is going to be English. And then it's going to ask me for audiences. And what I want to make sure is I want to make sure that I just leave this all blank. So I'm just going to, um, let me see here. Yeah, I'm going to leave this blank. So then it's going to ask me for the budget. I'm going to do $30 a day, like I mentioned. And it's going to ask me what I want to focus on. I'm going to do conversions. And it's going to ask me what type of target cost per acquisition I want. And I'm going to put a dollar per acquisition. And then right here, I'm just going to ignore this ad extensions thing. 
And so I'm going to go and click Save and Continue. And now it's asking me for the ad group. I would just leave the ad group name like that. But let's say I'm, I'm actually focusing on industrial building. So I want to go ahead and copy all of these. And I want to go ahead and paste them. All here. These are all the keywords I'm going to go after. So now I'm going to go ahead and, and save and continue. And now I'm going to create my ad. So like I mentioned, it's you know 10,000. And I'll see to 25,000 square feet. Just do it like this. And I'm going to do, you know, right here, I'll just do office space, sale, and lease. And description, I'm going to say view all uh, office spaces for sale and lease in your market. Click here to view them all. Okay. And I'm just going to leave this. So I'm going to do save and continue. That's all I'm going to do. And I can continue generating ads if I want, but I'm just going to go with one for now just to keep it um, to keep it here. And it's basically going to ask me if I want to go ahead and, you know, do anything else and I want to click in and publish so it gives me a summary here. One thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to see if I can actually target people in. So if I want to target people in a specific location right here, I don't want all United States. I want to go back and let's say, for example, I'm, I'm targeting Tampa, Florida. I want to do enter another location. And I'm going to do Tampa. And for example, here, I've got, you know, St. Petersburg, Sarasota. I'm probably just going to do this one. And I'm going to add another location. And I'm going to do Tampa. And I'm going to do Florida right here. So now I'm targeting just people who are looking in those locations. So then I can go ahead and modify it and then just go click continue. And then I can continue to throughout the thing. And then finally, I want to go ahead and publish my... Um, my ad, but that's a good way to, you want to make sure that if you work a specific market, let's say I'm in Irvine, California, I don't want to be, you know, <laughs> my ad showing in like Kansas City, right? Because I can't do anything with that. So you'd go ahead and you click publish and that's it. Once uh, leads start interacting with your page, uh, what you're going to notice is you're going to notice that um, you've got uh, leads coming in and you're going to get notified the following way. You're going to get an email. And that's it. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Or if you see this on social media, um, go ahead and reply or comment. Would love to hear from you and look forward to answering any questions and helping you grow your business.